Hello, welcome back to Let There Be Ears. Several weeks ago, I had a situation that happened to me. I haven't told anyone yet, but I'm going to tell you now. If you're new to Let There Be Ears, welcome to this channel. My name is Yat and I'm deaf without hearing aids, hard of hearing with hearing aids. Make sure to click the subscribe button to learn more about my deaf and hard of hearing journey with prosthetic ears and with a bone anchored hearing aid. Several weeks ago, I purchased a flight ticket on United's website. I was excited to go to the Middle East but needed to do a layover in Denver first. So as I was going on to this purchasing journey on United's website, I noticed as I was about to finish registration and enter my traveler information, there's a section called special needs. So as a person with a disability, being deaf and hard of hearing, naturally I would click on this little category and, and it expanded to show me a list of disabilities. And then I saw deaf was one of the options, so I clicked on it. I wasn't so sure after I clicked on this button if something would happen, if there would be ASL interpreting or other services offered during or before the flight, but I went to check this off anyway. So I went along and I purchased a ticket online. So when it was time to fly, I boarded the plane like usual. I lined up like usual. I boarded the plane like usual. I got onto my seat like usual. Nothing really special happened. Up until when the plane was about to depart, a flight attendant came by and asked how I was doing and if I flew before. I said, yes, I flew before or flown before. She explained to me a little bit about if I needed help, I could wave my hand or press the flight attendant button to ask for help. So I was grateful for that. She was appreciative and she was nice, but she didn't explain any of the captain's message or any safety features for me, which I would have appreciated knowing. But nonetheless, in front of me was a little sheet that explained the aircraft safety compartments and features and doors should there be an emergency. So we fly to Denver and it was time for me to disembark the plane. And as I was walking through the aisle and onto the aero, I think it's what they call the aero bridge. And the first thing I see is a staff member holding onto a sign that says my name on there. So I'm like, oh, okay, well, what do I owe this occasion for? And, and this staff looked at me very, very, very confused. And because he was confused, I too was confused. So he kind of looked at me and then I looked at him and then I see next to him a wheelchair. But, but I'm deaf. So I don't know if this has happened to any one of you or if you've traveled before when you check off special uh, needs, uh, a selection of a, of a disability that fits your uh, a lived experience. But I checked off deaf and I was greeted by a wheelchair. So I, I said to the staff member, I said, thank you, but I'm deaf and hard of hearing. I don't need the wheelchair. So I walked away and then he also was like, okay, well, I guess you don't need this anymore. <laughs> so. It was a really awkward yet interesting experience because I've never experienced this before. I've gone on other flights where uh, some of my fellow hard of hearing and deaf uh, friends who traveled and checked off deaf on their uh, ticket before flying through Air Canada and they usually greet us when we board the plane and when we're seated uh, they come and explain to us safety features uh, and amongst other things just to make sure that uh, we understand the safety features on that flight for that plane as well too. So a little blunder from United, not really a blunder, but that wheelchair could be reserved or saved for another person. Has this happened to you before? Have you gone on a flight and you've checked off a special need requirement, but another type of assistance or another type of equipment greets you when you land? Let me know in the comment section below. I love to hear from you. Make sure to subscribe, like this video, and share. Let there be ears with your friends and family. No ears, no fear. Until next time, goodbye.